What's up? So, Demon Slayer is back. That's right. You're here. You watched the episode. And today we're going to go over the newest episode of Demon Slayer in the Mugen Train arc. They are re-airing the Mugen Train movie as anime episodes leading up to the Entertainment District arc on December 5th. And today we're going to go over that first episode of the Mugen Train arc and anime only exclusive content of Rengoku and his Demon Slayer course members getting to the Mugen Train leading this up to where the movie began so we got that and also at the end of the video i'm gonna kind of touch base again on how they are airing and doing demon slayer returning to streaming services and i made a whole video about it i'll put it down in the comment section but just to kind of you know rehash it kind of more specifically we got a few more details after we talk about the episode in this video at the end of the video i will pinpoint you know more information on how you can watch the return of demon slayer in both the mugen train anime episode arc and getting us to the entertainment district arc later on this year so we got a lot of really exciting stuff today so if you're new here drop a like it really does help out the videos for the algorithm and demon slayer stuff also hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet i would very much appreciate it you can also follow me on twitter instagram tiktok all of that jazz would be very much appreciated and i thank you so very much so we got the first episode of the Mugen Train arc today and we're going to talk about it and I will not spoil anything for anybody that has not watched Mugen Train yet but if you want to go watch Mugen Train or read the manga feel free to do that but again I'm not going to spoil anything for anybody that hasn't watched those I'm just going to talk about the content that we got today in this anime only exclusive content which really you can't read in the manga or watching Mugen Train so we're just going to talk about what was in this episode today and kind of discuss some really cool things that happened so one of the things that i love so unbelievably much about demon slayer is how ufotable studios has handled the adaptation of the manga if you have read the demon slayer manga like me you know that it's already a fantastic story it's well written with great characters and the progression of the story is handled very well and it's a top notch it's a really really well written manga but ufotable studios just takes that it takes this amazing story of demon slayer and it packages it like so perfectly that it literally took this series from like a very popular shonen manga series now it is a global worldwide phenomenon where i can go to target and buy demon slayer merch that's how popular it is that's how well this studio handled demon slayer and all of that all of those amazing qualities that ufotables put into demon slayer anime were on showcase for this anime only episode little things from at the beginning when Rengoku was meeting with his other Demon Slayer corpse members and there was the steam from the kitchen all around them as they were eating and he was handing them food. Just little details like that and just the lights and the way that the sun reflects on things. This episode and the way that they made it look was top notch and it, it's almost too good to just for me to explain it you just have to witness it for yourself and watch it and enjoy it and realize how well we got it because this is the top of the totem pole this is high quality this is what people expect now for as popular of a show as demon slayer we got what we wanted this was unbelievably amazing animation and it just makes the watching experience so much more enjoyable another facet of this episode that i loved is rengoku is one of my favorite characters in the demon slayer manga and the demon slayer anime in the movie this episode being anime only content did a really good job of showcasing rengoku's characteristics his behaviors how he interacts with just normal people his ideals his beliefs he's just a stern positive just really solid guy who goes out of his way above and beyond to make everybody feel better protect people and do his job right and the way that he interacts like i said at the beginning with the chef at the restaurant and the little girl selling bentos and her grandmother this really shows you what kind of person rengoku is he's just the type of guy who tells you how delicious your food is by taking a bite and going delicious which was hilarious and buying all of the little girl's bentos that was really nice of him and you know she threw the bun in his face and he just ate it and said how delicious it was he's just an overall great guy and that's why he's one of the favorites for the entire series of demon slayer so this anime episode this anime only content did a wonderful job of showcasing how cool and great 
the character of Rengoku is. And the flow of this episode is really great all the way from the restaurant to him buying out the bentos from the girl, taking them to the train to try to find the Mugen train. And there's like this like continuous string throughout the episode of like food and the new characters that he has met along the way, and also chasing down this new demon that they find, this speedster type demon who Rengoku actually has to like chase down because he ends up running away. And the animation sequence where he's doing his total concentration breathing to run faster to have to chase after this demon. Woo! I, I, I'm not gonna like say any fancy words for it. It just looked, it looked really cool. And that part of the episode like hyped me up where I literally got out of my seat with excitement. That was so freaking cool. But just to end the anime topic and make sure before I, you know, in this part of the discussion, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section so we can kind of get to talking about Demon Slayer. No spoilers. Let's refrain from spoilers for anybody that hasn't read the manga or seen the entirety of the Mugen Train movie. Let's just try to stick to you know where the episodes are at now and just have fun you know with for everybody and don't spoil anybody you know talk about where we're at now but the ending of this episode and really the entirety of it was just getting us to where mugen train the movie starts and they did an absolutely fantastic job of rengoku and his demon slayer corpse members leading us to the beginning of the movie with him defeating that demon and saying like this is just one part of the big arc that is the mugen train arc there is still a big bad demon that ate 40 humans and is going to be extremely powerful on the Mugen Train, which leads us into Tanjiro and everybody getting to the Mugen Train where they're going to meet Rengoku. And it's just a wonderful lead up to a unbelievably amazing arc. That is the Mugen Train arc. So beautiful episode. Absolutely fantastic for animation, storyboard, characters, design. Everything overall was wonderful. And again, so on October 10th, like we just had, it's in the past now, we got the first episode of the Mugen Train arc. And this is going to continue on. We're going to get anime episodes of the Mugen Train movie each week, leading us up to December 5th, where we're going to get the first hour-long episode of the Entertainment District arc, which could go on for however long. There's no set anime numbered episodes yet, so we don't know anything like that. But what we do know is that for me... I'm just gonna tell you my time zone and then you can kind of figure out the numbering and the math on that yourself. So for me, I'm in central time zone at 11 a.m. on Sundays on Crunchyroll, Funimation, and Hulu, I get the newest episode of Demon Slayer. So again, central time on Funimation, Crunchyroll, and Hulu, 11 a.m., the new episodes drop. So whatever that is for you and whatever part of the world, I hope that helps because <laughs> I don't wanna figure out every time zone that would take way too long so i'm just gonna tell you what it is for me okay again make sure in the comment section let me know what you guys thought of the episodes if you have any questions make sure and let me know i am out of here catch you later peace